You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales. Uh, Alex, you're at the uh, in Southern California. <laughs> ah, look at that. We are doing we are doing avion tonight on Sipping Off the Cuff. Flying agave. The flying agave. No, check that out. Mira. There is not there. That's the symbol, the flying agave. That's there's nothing that this guy. Uh, if you don't uh, know who the owner is of Avion, the the head spokesperson, this uh, the president, CEO, is uh, a guy named Ken Austin who used to own Marquis Jet, and um, so uh, Avion has a has an air air flight kind of um, theme, but. Um, Anyway, Alex, you and I had the Blanco uh, about three, four years ago when they first came out. We, uh, in a previous episode, we tried the Reposado, which was we thought was very light, but we found out uh, off camera that this is this is a filtered tequila, correct? They are filtering it. It seems to be an ultra slow filter. I guess they got some preparatory uh, filtering process. Okay. And it, it seems to be what they're using for the Blanco, the Reposado, and the Añejo. And that's probably what explains why it's, it looks uh, a little on the light side. Yeah, uh, we were surprised that the, the, the Repo was very light. I compared it with the Blanco, and it's virtually, they're almost identical. Uh, and, and this is for an Añejo. We're doing the, the Añejo tonight. We're doing, we're, we're tasting the Añejo uh, this evening. And our first go round when we first tried Añejo, we didn't have the Reposado and the Añejo available to us. And uh, so this is new for us, for both you and me, because I don't think I've had it since the Blanco that we had before. I may have had the Blanco somewhere else afterwards, but I've never tried the Repo or the Añejo. I'm, I was really impressed with the the subtlety of the Reposado. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's... Wow, hey! Now it's interesting. Your your añejo in your glass through the camera uh -huh. looks like a blanco. Well, I have my lighting. You know, I I have yeah. Watch, I have I have pretty direct lighting, and it, it's it, it's the same in mine. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I could I could probably you know I could show you that too. But all this is doing is reflecting the the, the light that I have. Um, but yeah. It, it is. It's still a pretty color. It's like it's a it's like a pale, like a straw, light straw color. Right in the Some reposados are this color, Alex. Yeah. You know. Um, I've seen darker repos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No kidding. We've had darker repos on our show. Um, the beautiful legs on it. Now, are they saying how long is this being? Uh, uh, is the añejo being uh, aged? Two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Aged so does it spend a whole lot of uh, time in a barrel? Uh, I would imagine that these are used barrels plus filtering. So, yeah, it doesn't say what kind of barrel, but uh, the nose is 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 beautiful. Yeah, it's sweet. You can smell that little caramel, little honey. It's it's really it's really nice, Alex. This is this is just. It's got a it's got a full nose, but yet it's delicate at the same time. Yeah. An explosion going on in that glass. This one really has a, a much, I, I think, a much stronger nose than the than the Reposado did, in my in my opinion. Uh, wow, that top layer. That's a. I get some honey. A lot of caramel in there. A little some vanilla in there. Vanilla. Little hints of mint. Got a little hint of mint. Like you said, great legs. Yeah, wow. This is a really good tequila, man. This is just this the smell alone is nice. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. Beautiful. Oh wow. I didn't want to let that one go. Yeah, me neither. Wow! Holy cow! A beautiful mouthfeel. Very smooth coming in, yet a, a little explosion in your mouth. Medium of, of hotness. Right. There's there's just a very medium finish. 
Yeah, just a little bit of heat that goes down. You know, I would say it was a medium finish, not very long, but oh wow, man! So this this one would I would I and I don't do this very often with a with an añejo, but I would try this in a in in a in a cocktail. I think it'd be really good in a cocktail. Wow. Now, you know what, Alex, since, since you and I tried Avion the first time, they've been, they've been really busy. They, they are a, a, an award-winning tequila. I'll just read what I'm looking at from their Facebook page, okay? Uh, San Francisco World Spirits Competition 2012, best tequila, best white spirit, double gold medal, two silver medals. San Francisco World Spirits Competition 2011, double gold gold and bronze in their first year uh blind taste test by 33 of the most prominent judges in the world um they were voted the world you and me and who else? yeah i don't know who besides you and me who else i don't know yeah <laughs> um voted best world's best tasting tequila at the san francisco world spirits competition these these guys are, are award winners. Ken Austin, the, the the main owner of Avion, has has looked at every little detail since you and I had it the first time. He has partnered up with Pernard Ricard, uh, or Pernod Ricard, I'm sorry, uh, to do distribution, and he he's everywhere. Like you said earlier in our in our past uh, sipping off the cuff for the repo, we can find these guys everywhere. They're in every store. Uh, you know, from that's what's nice about this brand, Mike. Uh, it ha they haven't been out too long, um, and but yet they've made a name for themselves. They got good quality, and you can find it on the shelf at your local store. Yeah, a lot because when you know people are out there looking for for new brands, um, and this obviously got some 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 uh, marketing through that through the show. Right through Entourage, for those of you who don't know. But it's to, it's a great great añejo. Wow. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, I, uh, as I said, mentioned earlier, Alex and I have not had the añejo or the reposado before, but um, every little detail, look from the neck tag that you know, just very elegant, very nice sipper. I mean, you know, the logo on the top here. Sure. Uh, Apothecary uh, type of bottles. Was yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, they they thought of everything. They really did. Uh, the you, I know that they've gotten a lot of hype from uh, from the show, and Ken Austin is always being interviewed, you know, on on one of the financial networks, because uh, you know he, as I said, he owned Marquee Jet and then sold it to to uh, Warren Buffett. But as I mentioned before, prior to that, I had no idea he had worked for Seagrams, uh, and so he has a solid liquor and spirits background that I, I wasn't aware of. And it makes total sense because he's got, I think he's got the total package here. I really do. Um, it is, uh, my, go ahead. I'm looking forward, you know what I do? What? I go out, especially to, to a concert or an event. The gentleman always wears a flat. Oh, I always the, take a flask. You know, always an añejo, and I can't wait to take it along with me next time. So what you're saying is Avion añejo is flask worthy? Is that what you're saying? Flask worthy. <laughs> it's so good. It will travel. <laughs> you know, I bet because you and I talked about this in a previous uh, sipping off the cuff about about añejos and reposados in a flask. I bet at body temperature. This the, the the wood notes and it just really would really shine I, and I and I know that's probably what you're looking forward to is it always happens I get yeah, the body temp. I yeah yeah that body temp man I'm telling you sometimes it, it you know you can have a, a flask and it's just it's just sitting there on your shelf or whatever and but it, but there's something about body temperature tequila and and it doesn't work with every tequila there's a few that I would my favorite in a flask used to be 3030 30 30 remember 3030 they had a repo. Not, not talking body shot. No, 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 no. We're we're talking about in a flask, at body temperature, and some tequilas are better, taste better than others, or or shine more at a, at a warmer body temperature than others. It's actually a little test, a test for the tequila. 
Well, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think you're right. I this would be one of the ones that I would probably put. I, I will try that. I think I think we should come back and do another Avion show. If, you know, I, I wish they had. Avion has all kinds of tchotchkes. Maybe they have, you know, yeah, like a couple. Yeah, I was just noticing they got some Avion gear. I think they need some, they need a, they need an Avion flask. They need an Avion flask. You know what? The flying agave. Did you, did you get the Avion shot glass? No, I did not. Mira. Yeah, you see, put that logo on the flask. On the flask. Beautiful. I think, I think, uh, I think we need to, we need to knock on Ken's door and, you know. <laughs> Pro, yeah, he. He, he really is a, a very cool guy, very approachable, uh, has his own Twitter and Facebook accounts, and you can, you can catch them there. Uh, he actually has uh, his own Twitter account, and he does maintain it. You know, he's, he's very approachable. Um, as I can't say enough about the guy, and, and that really tr – he's kind of like in the same vein. You know, Alex, there, there are certain owners of brands that, that are really beloved – you know, for instance, uh, uh, Pepe Hermosillo of Casanoble, you know, you never hear a bad word about the guy from anybody. And, and Ken, you know, he's got a lot of the publicity flash, but he also has a lot of the passion and, and, and he's got the smarts. Um, I, 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 what do you think? Brand of Promise, uh, Brand of Promise Legacy? I definitely think that should be a Brand of Promise. Brand of Promise? Okay. I agree with you. I, I think they've done a, a wonderful job. Beautiful Repo. Um, uh, now you say, would you do a cocktail with this Repo? I would try it with, with a, as a cocktail the myself. Anejo. Oh, the Anejo. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I would. I, I, I will experiment with these. Um, you know, in an old fashioned, anything like that, you know, that's, that, that would be a cocktail worthy uh, 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 or, or anything that's worthy or that's in this category. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a heavier towards the brown good. I'll try. To, I'll try to put it in a cocktail. I'll even try. I'll, I'll even try it in a margarita. See what what, it, what it's like. Yeah, um, it'll, it'll give it a different depth to it. I I, I think that uh, they don't filter. They, they say they slow filter it, so it's not being stripped of of characteristics. I think it doesn't have the agave characteristics that I that that some other tequilas have, but it's really more herbal, uh, or 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 f dried fruit things like that. That um, and and. And when we did the Blanco, the very first time when we did the review on the Blanco, you caught something in the Blanco that I couldn't pick, that I couldn't catch. And it was, it was an herb. Uh, it was a, an herbal, a specific herb. And I'm hoping that we, that we still have that same wow factor with the Blanco because we're going to try the Blanco again here shortly. But that's our take on the, on the Añejo, Avión Añejo. I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez, enjoying some some nice avion añejo. I hope you get a chance to too, also. Yes. To have to try it, I should say. And I see I'm getting all tongue tied because it's so good. <laughs> you're, watching, you're watching Sipping Off the Cup. I'm Alex Perez. You're, this is Mike Morales, and as always, sip wisely. <laughs>